just opened up my tailgate this morning. I haven't even got out of the van. This is my view. First morning without a home. It just occurred to me that I need to stop saying without a home or homeless because I'm not homeless. This is my home. I seriously have some organizing to do. This is my home. I'm very much enjoying my first day out here, sorry, at the lake. But uh, these shelves are not working. Something's gotta change. I just can't get enough of this view. I went for a little walk around the campground a couple times around the loop. My shoulders aren't used to that, so cut it short at two. I want to start exercising more now that I'm out here. So, uh, but anyways, this is beautiful. I cooked myself dinner at my little table. Canned pasta. It was raining a little bit, so I didn't want to get more involved and I'm having trouble reaching everything because my shelves collapsed. Anyways, I'm really enjoying just sitting out here reading my novel. The sunshine is warm. It's not out a ton, but it's there. And uh, it's just so nice just to be sitting here and it's peaceful and I'm starting to relax. I've just been thinking about my channel, my YouTube channel, and how it's about uh, being a van lifer as a person who uses a wheelchair. And just was thinking about some of the things that are different for me as opposed to somebody who's able-bodied. And that is, I think I've mentioned it before, how much you have to think ahead of time about everything and try and keep in mind, am I going to need that bucket from the front seat? so that I can wash my hair inside the van um, because I can't get it from inside the van. I have to get it when I'm out of the van. So the next time I'm out, I have to remember to move it so that I can wash my hair in the morning or um, just the fact that I have the drawers, the drawers that are no longer working um, that slide both ways they slide into the van, but they slide out of the van so that I can reach things from both inside and out of the van without uh, having to climb back in. Because if I can't reach something in the van, I have to climb in to get it. And that's, well, it's not difficult. It's not good for my shoulders and it's not good for my um, skin. People with spinal cord injuries have to worry about skin issues becoming a problem. So uh, just was thinking about that as I continue to sit on the shore of this gorgeous lake. By the way, have I mentioned that I just can't stop smiling this my first day of van life? I just can't stop smiling. Well, this big storm's been going on for a bit. I've been worried about my table and cook stove and water outside and tea towel, but I haven't heard any large noises and I can't actually see out that window because all my shelves and stuff are that way. But I just gave in. I was getting cold and I turned on my heat. I don't want to turn it on more than I have to, but I'm going to keep track of the time and see how long this bottle I just put in a new bottle of butane. I'm gonna see how long it lasts. See how efficient this stove is and whether it's worth the money that I paid for it. Maybe you can't see it or maybe you can't. But that was a snowstorm that just went through earlier. Not much higher up than where I am right now. I wonder it's so cold. Okay, I know things can't always be perfect all of the time, and at the risk of sounding like a complainer, which pff, maybe I am, 
I just wanted to explain how sometimes things are different when you're in a wheelchair as to how things work and don't work. Um, I showed a video a clip earlier about my drawers all collapsing one on top of each other. I have a metal set of shelves, uh, drawers, and they came out of the little runners. And so there's three drawers piled on top of each other with all my cooking and kitchen stuff in them. And also my single burner stove uh, butane or propane canister is at the bottom of all that. My two burner stove is outside in the rain. So tonight when I wanted to make supper, my plan was to just warm up something. I bought cans of stuff so that I could warm it up in my butane stove, my little single burner stove inside the van. I don't like to use the big one in the van. It's just, I don't know. I haven't tried it yet. And I don't want to have stuff splattering all over. So canned stuff, single pot meals on my single burner stove was kind of what I was hoping for tonight. But because I couldn't get at the canister, there was no way I could get at it. Um, it was out of reach. It was behind my wheelchair. At one point, the rain stopped, so I uh, moved my wheelchair outside for a second and started unloading some of the drawers, but I just couldn't get enough out because I couldn't reach. And so I still couldn't get at the canister. So my supper tonight consisted of some bread slices that I found. Um some peanut butter and crackers and that's about it so that was frustrating and also I can't reach my other canisters for my heater and it's cold it snowed today it didn't stick around and it wasn't you know like it didn't go below freezing but it's still cold out and uh, I'm kind of a wimp and I like my heater I was so excited to have that heater so that I could actually be productive in the evenings and not feel like I just want to crawl under the blankets and, and do nothing. Well, that's what this night has been about. I actually do still have propane in the in the heater or butane, but um, it's almost running out and I want to have some for the morning. So I'm trying to just leave that. I also have a remote start on my car, but I know that there's a limit to how many times I can do that. And so if it's only one, I want to save that for the morning for when I get up so that I can warm up the car before uh, before I have to get up. So Because I can't get to the front and actually plug the key into the car. Anyways, those are my little frustra frustrations on my first day of van life. Side window view this morning. Good morning. It's day two of my van life. I already, I spent two weeks last fall and another two and a half weeks this January traveling around in my van. Last fall was lower mainland and in January it was in Arizona. It was warm both those times. I'm learning that, uh, van life isn't well I knew it was going to be like this it's not always warm and man when I'm cold I don't want to do anything I just want to crawl under the blankets so I haven't really heard anybody else on any of the YouTube channels I follow talk about stuff like this so I'm going to talk about it because well maybe they have and I just ignored it because I still had romanticized the idea of living in my van I know people have talked about that it's not always easy and that it's actually hard. Well, I've been up since 8.30, I think, this morning. I got up and peed as fast as I could and got back under the blankets because it was really cold. It was supposed to be nice here today, and it is now, but when I woke up, it, we were blanketed in fog and it was cold. The sun's coming out now, but my van is still cold and I'm still under the blankets trying to keep warm so I've just been reading I have my 
heating pad against my chest because <laughs> I don't like being cold. Anyways, what I wanted to say aside from that is also that I heard somebody talk recently on one of the YouTube channels about um, that it's hard work being a van lifer, that there's always something to fix and always something to maintain. And I thought, well, I never found that when I was traveling for two weeks, but I'm living in my van now and I need to keep in mind that like, I'm not just driving every day. I've been in this spot where I am for two, well, all day yesterday. Today is starting my second day. I want to stay here for two more days because it's supposed to warm up here. So I'm not running my van, so I'm not charging my Jackery. So the things that are keeping me warm, like my heating pad um, and charging my phone and, and my computers and stuff, um, is becoming uncharged. And so I have to do something about that. Well... I have never unwrapped my solar panels. They're here, they're heavy, they're hard to deal with, and I'm just, the sun's out, I need to charge my solar. Um, the gravel's a little bit tough in this, in this camping spot for me to wheel around on. So uh, what I'm trying to say is, is <clears throat> I know I have to charge my battery, I know I have to fix the broken drawers today, it all sounds like work and I'm here by the lake and I just want to enjoy that. But I have things that I have to do to maintain my life in this van. So there's another, not a rant, it's an awakening for me. Realizing that, like I knew this in my head, but I didn't really know it. That it isn't always going to be easy and that sometimes it's going to kind of suck. And it doesn't really suck right now, but it's not easy either. So anyways, I'm just going to turn this around and show you my view this morning. I should have got it earlier when the fog was still lifting, but... Anyways, I'm going to leave you with that for a while.